वेलकम टू द चैनल दिस इज सिविलिस्तान योर यू पी एस सी सेल्फ प्रिपरेशन गाइड इन दिस वीडियो वी वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मिसकनसम्शन प्रिवलेंट बिटवीन मोस्ट ऑफ द एस्पिरेंट्स दैट इज कैन आई ए एस बी क्रैक्ट इन द वेरी फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट इज इट पॉसिबल टू गेट आई ए एस इन द वेरी फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट पीपल थिंक दैट फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट कैन बी मेड the very next year of your preparation and institute like this by jews see how they have posted it how to clear upsc ias prelims exam in the very first attempt mind you friends you can't become an ias just by clearing prelims exam there are two more other rounds people make money just by claiming that you can clear this yeah you can clear prelims with just 6 to 7 months of hard work with focus and if you know what are the things to be done how to read it prelims can be cleared i have no doubt it and don't doubt in it and you can do it anyone can do it but the ultimate thing is clearing mains clearing the interview you will hardly have two months after your prelims results are out and who will teach you for how to write an answer who will teach you how to frame your answer how to score more marks in your optional only if you know all the other stuffs you can become an ias officer don't get tempted by these kind of words in the net and then think that you can also become an ias in the very first attempt they show examples like this tina dabi first rank in first attempt like she has become an icon for many they just show that she got it in the first attempt but they f- fail to show the reality behind it this is how they gimmick you like they have something like this join our academy and become an ias in the first attempt my god this is not going to happen that easily have some brains have some brains like they can even show you this examples like kanish kataria got it in the first attempt tina davi got it in the first attempt what are but what about these guys anudip what about nandini what about ira singhal what about gaurav agarwal all these struggled for years and ira singhal got it in her last attempt so you should be ready to struggle or you should be knowing how the process is done and only then you should jump into the writing writing thing there is a whole lot difference between the first attempt and the first year of preparation and you can never pass the whole exam here i say the whole exam you can never become an ias officer with just 6 months of coaching yeah you can clear the prelims that is of no doubt but clearing the prelims is not going to help you in any way again you will be in the same line facing the next prelims what the main purpose of paying 1 1 and a half lakhs to these guys is to help us pass all the three rounds we fail to analyze the reason behind the success of people who claim to have cleared it in the first attempt remember that rome was not built in a day and similarly your cpa upsc success is not just the result of one year of coaching here i will just tell you an example like how what is the difference between the first attempt and first year of preparation and how the people who prepare it in the who pass it in the first attempt make it to the final list see this is tina dabi she started her preparation in 2011 that is after right after her schooling and she joined this institute and you can, this is their gimmick they have put it in showing that she was our student but you can take it as an evidence you see june 2011 she joined this institute and she was the topper for the year 2015 hundred her the result came on 2016 so the four years of preparation is just not shown to any aspirant the four years of hard work four years of her hard work is not shown just to show that their institute made her help 
the institute helped her to become an ias officer the re- you can see the reasons for her success it is a pre-planned one like they planned her both you can see they both her parents are ies officers and they probably have a very good knowledge about what upsc is and how the exams are done and they have planned it it in a very early stage when she was in school many of us started thinking or dreaming about upsc only after the graduation and we did a graduation in civil engineering fashion technology something else and right here we sit with a different optional see all these criteria your optional is your optional is very very important when it comes to scoring in mains and only with a 300 plus marks in your optional you can confirm your birth in the final list and suddenly preparing for an optional for just 2 to 3 months you can't be scoring it you need lots of practice see how this planning was done she had good mentors that is her parents she chose the right optional uh, what i understood is like after this she chose an optional she chose her under graduation as her optional see how meticulously the whole thing is planned we are not planning it that way so you don't expect yourself to be in that place like it is totally different and our scenario is totally different and it is out of our ignorance thinking we can also become the next tina da we can also become the next kanish kataria or whatever these institutes are making a lot of money just think 14000 to 15000 students joining an institute the institute in the sense it is a single building 15000 students make a university i guess and they don't have any basic infrastructure other than the air conditioned units and you you it can't even accommodate a good number of people in its restroom and it is totally bullshit sorry for using it it is totally not worth to pay that much money for this coaching just with the belief that you can clear it in the first attempt if you if you are thinking that you can clear the first, clear it in the first attempt just because you joined the coaching i'm sorry my friend it's not going to happen see this is how much they cost 1 lakh and 60000 rupees and see they put on these faces every single time and they don't show their background see he is an iit graduate uh, his parents are already civil service aspirants this is what happens every single time and this guy passed in passed in his fifth attempt or sixth attempt i guess they don't tell you that they just show these are our toppers come join and pay the money and go always remember they are no guarantee for your success question yourself a dozen time before you pay your hard earned money this is our hard earned money i know so many who who even sold their piece of land to join this coaching institutes i'm sorry my friends this is the reality this is not there should be some common sense or some we always have a herd mentality and we should come out of it just think of the reality and think for a moment is paying 1 and 1/2 lakh worth for this single coaching then you will understand you can sit for 2 years here you can sit for 2 years prepare and then go for this highest job of the country you can definitely take test series as those things are kind of an experience or it gives you practice so there is nothing wrong in going for a test series by paying for that but learning what you already learned in the school gs classes are nothing but the revision of what you already had in school so paying 1 and 1/2 lakhs for that is of no use make your preparation worth analyze the pattern and prepare yourself we are here to help you out we have already we are kind of unlucky since we have uh, we are a group of people who have been preparing this for a couple of years more than a couple of years and 
we are there to help you out and we we are also in the preparation process and we know how the things are going on analyze and you can find a pattern definitely the success will be yours you can become an ias in the first year of preparation first year of preparation in the sense the very next year the very year you joined the coaching but with extensive planned preparation you can do it stay awake and stay informed stay away from these coaching institutes that's what i personally say stay away from them best wishes for your preparation and this is your channel civilistan so like share and subscribe thank you for watching it have a great day cheers